what's up guys the race here welcoming you all back into another video and in today's video we are looking into a smartwatch by yoyo fit come with a very competitive price and a fantastic range as well in terms of the colors and the features are not that bad at all starting with the recording of your blood pressure heart rate oxygen saturation activity tracking, sleep tracking, calories counter, pedometer, and IP68 waterproof rated. Which means you can take it on a swim if you want to, no worries whatsoever. Now, if you have been following me on YouTube, you should know by now that I tend to go extra mile, showing each and everything about the product I am reviewing. Well, this product is no difference. So first to start with, we're going to look into the, all the features offered by this smartwatch, how's the software and a graphical user interface. So by the end of this video, without my conclusion, you will have an idea that is this smartwatch for you or not. So let's not waste too much of time and straight away look into the key features offered by this smartwatch by YoYo Fit. Starting with the 1.4 inch full touch screen come with a strong and durable 2.5D glass with a six layer of adjustable brightness. Having a brightness control means you can see the display in bright daylight and in the dark as well. Come with the heart rate monitoring with the modern sensor which continuously track your entire day. And you can also raise alarms as well in case you got any problem. And smartwatch being activity tracker, you can track all your fitness data like heart rate, sleeping time and quality. Now within smartwatch you also have a 7 exercise modes too. So by press of one button you can launch them too and the data for the GPS will be taken from your mobile phone to record your all tracking. Now for getting notification and alert from the multiple application you need to install an application called DoorFit on your mobile phone which is fantastic to arrange all your data and get all the notification like a call, whatsapp messages, instagram and everything right on your smartwatch works great as well now in terms of battery life smartwatch is equipped with a 240 milliampere hour battery which takes about two to three hours to charge and a seven days of use while you're playing with the smartwatch everything is countable for that well there is a possibility that i might have missed a couple of features here and there but all the detailed specifications are available in the video description for this yoyo fit smartwatch now from the looks and the design point of view, I can only say good things about this smart watch. Come with a 1.4 inch TFT LCD display which works fantastic and very responsive as well. One multifunctional return and a power on and off button. And on the back you're going to get the sensor which is a multifunctional as well. Records your blood pressure, heart rate as well as the SpO2, oxygen saturation level. Belt is interchangeable and goes from small wrist to the biggest wrist you can possibly get it. Specifications are available on your screen too. Well, let's have a quick look within the smartwatch user interface that how easy it is. By scrolling from top to bottom, you're going to access the shortcut menu. In here, you got an option for torch, do not disturb, weather actually, you can see the real time weather of your current location. Brightness control by press of a one button in here. You can just change the brightness of your display. As you can see, I am doing do not disturb and the settings option. Now within settings, you have an option for watch style, which is kind of a watch face. You can select from multiple of them in here. And for the watch faces, you have an option for thousands using the De Fit application. It is simple as selecting one of them from the list click onto the download and straight away on your smart watch. Now after watch style you have option for power on and off, reset, reset your watch and about your smart watch. Now to access all pre-installed application, scroll from bottom to top. Here you're going to see the application for steps where it's going to show you how many steps you have taken, energy you have burnt, then the messages if you have received any available in here, application to record your sleeping pattern, health tab which is all to do with your blood pressure, heart rate and SpO2 as well, training which is all to do with the activities like walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, baseball, football, everything in here. You can just simply select the one which you want to do and off you go. When an activity is launched, it's going to record your heart rate and steps you have taken and the GPS tracking of your mobile phone. And to stop this activity, press and hold on the stop button on the top. And yes, after training, next step we have is for the weather, which is to do with your current location. 
and information for that is coming from your mobile phone application then we have a player by using this application you can actually control the player which is running on your smartphone we'll show you later in the video that how that part works brightness control which is to do with the display of your smartwatch you can change it how you want it simple is that it's not an automatic at all so as the camera which is basically a shutter control by using this feature you do not need to ask anyone to take your pictures application for stopwatch is also available in here so as the flashlight option for more which are the settings which we've seen before and by scrolling from left to right you're going to see number of steps you have taken calories you have burned heart rate which is actually launching the heart rate kind of a application sleep tracking and you're back to the main watch face let's talk about the mobile phone application which you need to install on your smartphone to communicate with this smart watch an application is called the fit available for android as well as for ios mobile phones application is very intuitive and straightforward to work with within the home page you're going to see all the information about your day that how many steps you have taken calories you have burned and how long you've been moving around as well as your sleeping pattern as well which was the last day actually guys you can straight away go into it and access your all information that how you were sleeping actually very nicely arranged in here and within the steps you're also going to see the similar kind of a feature available for you to look into and all the data you're going to get in here is arranged by day week and month if you keep using this mobile phone application heart rate data is also been available like the same way as you can see that you have to use it longer it will tell you that how it's been doing actually and you can see it all very clearly you can see that there's a heart rate chart available in here throughout the day that how my heart rate was doing now readings for blood pressure and oxygen saturation i have not taken today let's go ahead and do it you can do it all by using the application as well it will send the notification to the smartwatch to get all real-time data and once the measurement is completed you and once data is completely measured you're going to feel a vibration on your smartwatch and the data on your application now if you look into the oxygen saturation by press of a one button you can also launch this too now after running blood pressure and oxygen saturation you're going to see the data available in here you can go for more if you want to as well next tab is for the connection of your smart watch which is more to do with it's all about the smart watch that what you can do within it in terms of downloading the watch faces simply go into that area and you can download more by going into the more watch faces here you have got the choice of thousands of watch faces guys next tab is to do with the notification in here you can select what kind of notification you would like to see on your smart watch from your mobile phone select the one which you wanted to see and deselect the one which you don't like at all then you have an alarm so you can set an alarm on your smart watch by press of one button and how you want it as well next option is the shutter now whenever you open this part you're going to see the automatically camera will launch on your smart watch now by press of one button you can actually take a picture on your mobile phone that option works fantastic to be honest with you guys now after shutter application next step we have is the other and that is all to do with the settings of your smart watch let's suppose you lost it but press of one button you can find it you're going to feel a vibrator on your smart watch then the time format you can select it how you want it units do not disturb reminder to move yourself and full-time heart rate monitoring languages quick menu and everything about it your weather information will be coming from your smartwatch and here you can select it which place you are in actually all the options you can go into pretty decent kind of an options to be honest with you option to update the firmware of your smartwatch are also available as well option to update your firmware is also available very handy to have then you have your profile here you can set it what is your profile age what's your goals and stuff like that for app to work and arrange your data analytically very well well let's go ahead and check out the performance of heart rate sensor as well as spo2 by going into the health application and launching the heart rate application now to confirm all the readings i'm going to use this oximeter which is a proven device for the heart rate as well as a 
oxygen saturation within your blood. On oximeter, we are getting 81 pulses per minute and on the smartwatch is about 81 as well. So that means it's not that bad at all. And now for the SpO2, let's click on it and go ahead with the calculation. While well, currently on smartwatch, we are getting 97% of oxygen saturation and on oximeter about 97 to 98 actually percent. That's not bad actually, kind of comparable. The part of notifications from your mobile phone straight on your smartwatch works great. And when someone call you, you're going to see the notification with their name coming from your phone book. Simple is that you can actually silent the phone call by press of a one button getting a phone call is just a notification on your smartwatch that's about it and to get the message notification on your smartwatch you usually get it very nicely as well you can see that very clearly you can read the whole message as well no problem whatsoever with it but just in case if you missed it actually you can straight away go into the messages message would be appear up in here once you finish reading it press and hold on top of it it will be get deleted from the smartwatch but not from your mobile phone actually and in terms of displaying the emojis from your messages kind of is only going to show you the short key of it that's about it well here i am in the end of this video and i try to show each and everything which is offered by this yoyo fit smart watch in terms of design it's suitable for every size of wrist to be honest with you a man a woman can wear it Design is so nice and fantastic that it suits every type of wrist as well. Now, in terms of functionality, everything works great. You get to see your messages from your mobile phone, health with the SpO2 and heart rate and blood pressure as well. Training as well, which is to do with your walking, running. Everything is available on your wrist actually. You shouldn't be saying on your fingertips. Well, if you still have any more reservations about the smartwatch, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I would be happy to help and assist in any kind. That will be all from my side, guys. Thank you again for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now.